bitches they come they go saturday through sunday monday monday through sunday yo hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is oinola ayadeji if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to watch my video and if you're a new year hi guys like i said my name is Uyinola Ayodeji. i'm a youtuber based in nova scotia canada if you have not subscribed to my channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you like this video and share this video so basically if you look at my old videos i said basically a lot it's crazy if you look at my old videos you can see some changes in my face or my body that's if you like know me and you follow me very well you can see a lot of changes in my body if you want to start your weight loss journey or you have been thinking of losing weight this is your sign to do so and in today's video i'll be telling you guys on how i lost weight the things i did and the things that i did not do and i just want to tell you guys that i am not a gym instructor neither am i a nutritionalist or the nutritionist i mean so basically all of these things i'm going to say in this video are things that worked for me personally okay but they're like really basic things though they're like things that you should know that everyone should know but i just want to emphasize on them and just tell you guys on how i lost weight so let's do a quick comparison of what i used to look like this is what i used to look like and this is what i look like now and now let's get into the video let's get into how i lost weight first of all i'm going to start from the do's and then i'll go into the don'ts so the things that you should do the first thing you need to do is to make a decision how bad do you really want to lose weight how bad do you want to lose weight are you losing weight just because you want to prove something to people or just because you've been body shamed and you feel like okay you really need to lose weight how bad do you want to lose weight how bad do you want to lose weight i started my weight my whole weight loss journey started like on a very random day i've had like weight loss weight loss on my on my to-do list on my new year, new year resolutions for years now even since like secondary school i've been wanting to lose weight but it was just one evening my friend was going to the gym and i was just like you know what let me go to the gym and that was just how it started and since then i've been really 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 consistent and i've been really into it so everything begins with our mind right whatever we think in our mind is what we start to do so you have to like make the decision there has to be this mind connection that okay i really want to do this and i'm going to do this and you see yourself do it so that's the first thing you should do the second thing, and this is like very cliche, you've probably heard this from a lot of people, you have to be consistent. Consistency is very important. The first day you go to the gym, you're probably not going to see changes. The first day you start your intermittent fasting, you're probably not going to see changes. The first day you start your calorie deficit, whatever, you probably, you're probably not going to see changes. It takes day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, to like when you're so used to being that person. So you have to be very consistent when i mean consistent i don't i'm not saying you should you have to like do this like seven days a week you could gi give yourself rest that's if you go to the gym have your rest days right and if you're doing your intermittent fasting there are days where you could just like let me just eat earlier than i and than i normally used to eat but you still have to like make the days that you do your intermittent fasting or your gym workouts or wherever more than the days that you rest do you understand so that's the second thing consistency the third thing and which i feel like is the most important thing is nutrition okay nutrition is very important no matter how much you go to the gym if you like lift the highest weight in the gym walk on the treadmill for hours but your nutrition is very very bad you're not going to see changes you need to take your food very important and i'm going to give you guys a list of the things that i normally eat so i started eating in a calorie deficit and what is a calorie deficit calorie deficit is basically eating lesser than what you normally eat do you understand so on a normal day if you take like two cups of rice eating one cup or one and a half is you being in a calorie deficit so you have lesser calorie in your body or you're burning more calories than you take in 
think that's the best way to explain it so college obviously just like you burning more than you than you eat and when i when i started eating in a calorie deficit the way i was able to do it to my own that i was able to like be very good at it was that normally you know those wide plates i'll probably put a, a picture of what i'm talking about here those wide plates i stopped using those wide plates and i started using curved plates there's something about curved plates that when you're serving you feel like it's full but it's actually not a lot of food right so i started using that instead of using the flat spoons the flat spoon when you add two spoons of rice into your flat plate it's going to scatter right it will look like oh this thing it will look very small so you you want to be adding one adding one adding more and i started using the the curved plates which will make my food i don't know how to explain it's just like a mind thing it's a psychology thing but like it's like whatever my head is telling me whatever i tell my head to do that's what my head is going to think or that's what my mind is going to think so when i set my plate in a, when i set my food in a small plate and i tell my mind that this is enough for me and this is going to be enough for me it ends up being enough for me because by the time i'm i'm done eating that plate i'm already full so it's just like a mind thing i don't know if you guys understand because there's this thing i do in the gym that that i don't get tired easily let me explain why i do in the gym they call it mind muscle connection so when i'm working out and i'm working out and my body is telling me that okay i cannot take this anymore i connect my mind to my muscle to believe that i can still go one more rep if you get what i mean if you understand what i'm talking about so come um, your nutrition is very important what i did about my own nutrition was that i cut out every sugary thing anything with refined sugar i'm talking about um carbonated drinks like coke like fanta sprite chocolates oreo biscuits i'm a big fan of oreo biscuits i cut that off just the, and you find out that there are so so many things with refined sugar donuts all these things cut them off cut them off cut them off i cut mine off completely like i during when i when i started i can't remember like how many times i used to eat like all of these things because i really cut them off and i stopped buying them so anytime i go for my grocery shopping instead of me buying oreo buying um chocolate i don't just buy them to keep them in my in my um locker because when i buy them obviously i'm going to end up standing up to go and open one and eating one so i don't buy them at all and i replaced those things with other things for example pepsi coke fanta instead of that i started taking diet coke started taking sparkling water like there's this um there, there are these drinks they're also carbonated too but like they have zero calories but they still taste okay like for example when i started taking diet coke and diet pepsi i started wondering why people, people drink coke because they literally taste not the same but Diet Pepsi is not bitter. Diet Coke is not bitter. It's still sweet, but it's just that it's just water that is added to my body. Do you understand? So I replaced those things with, with um, Fanta and Coke and all of that. And then I reduced the way I eat carbohydrates. So rice, I reduced it. I stopped taking um, pancakes with flour. And I can't even remember. I think it's like almost eight months now that I'm not eating pancakes with, made with flour. So like those things are carbohydrates they will add more calories to your body so you need to cut them off i need to start taking things in so i start eating a lot of fruit i start taking pepper soup i start making wraps by myself and i think i have a recipe on my tiktok or on my youtube shorts on how i make like very quick simple chicken wrap you guys can go and check that out so basically yeah that's what i do with my nutrition your nutrition is very 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 important is even very very like even if you're going to the gym every day and you cannot train out a bad diet i'm very sure you've heard that before so you need to take your nutrition very important you need to watch the things that you put in your body because it's just very important like snacking stop snacking unnecessarily because what this what this thing does to your body is that when you wake up in the morning and you take a cup of water and the first thing you eat is a chocolate it increases your blood sugar 
and then you start testing for more things like you'll be so hungry and you start eating literally everything you see do you understand again a reminder for those of you that are not subscribed please go and subscribe to my channel i really need to get to my goal this year this year and this year period the fourth thing is you need to love your body okay you need to appreciate your body you need to love your body you need to love yourself because loving yourself makes the journey not easier okay i'll say it makes the journey easier and makes the journey sweeter for you because no matter how big you are no matter how how um, big you are you need to be like okay i love my body you can love your body and still want to change some things about your body that's fine so you need to appreciate your body you need to love your body okay don't tell yourself don't look at the mirror and tell yourself oh my god you're too big you're too fat you're not making any progress you need to do this you need to do that da 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 like or after you um because sometimes you sometimes i do this thing where i i take something i eat something that i'm not supposed to eat right and then i instead of me telling myself oh my god or like being so worried about it i just pick get my get my i be i get myself up and start again that's what you should do okay don't tell your body negative things because whatever you tell your body is what your body is going to respond to okay so as you're doing your workouts as you're eating your eating in a calorie deficit you're doing your intermittent fasting or whatever way fasting you you want to use whatever method you want to use to lose weight just appreciate your body and tell your body good things and appreciate your body and love your body because your body will start to respond to that particular thing and people will start to treat you the way you treat your body do you understand so like if you love yourself like everything is just a thing of psychology this life is just a thing of psychology if you appreciate your body if you're so confident by yourself nobody would have the effrontery to put you down do you understand so you have to love your body in the process it's a journey that's going to take months and years or whatever but like love your body at every single stage okay take progress videos or pictures oh my god the sun is going down this is very annoying but take uh progress videos or pictures because i do not trust the scale i never went to the scale to weigh myself because my own journey was fat loss not necessarily weight loss and fat loss is just like me trying to burn weight me trying to lose weight but maintain muscles do you understand so i could be 74 kg when i want to like burn my fat and when i grow my muscles i could still maintain the same kg so i really don't believe in going to the scale to to um take yourself i'm not saying you shouldn't weigh yourself if you want to weigh yourself you should weigh yourself but like don't be so dependent on skills take progress videos take progress pictures because it might some it's some people it takes them like one week for them to change their whole body so like take pictures of your body take pictures of places that you want to change and maybe after one month after two weeks wherever i take another picture and compare those pictures together and that's why i did because i'm going to show you guys what, i'm going to show you guys pictures of what i used to look like and pictures of what i look like now and i'm still on that journey so i keep taking pictures and videos of myself because i know that my body will keep changing every time do you understand so after all of those do's i'm going to tell you guys the don'ts the things that you shouldn't do when you're on your weight loss journey okay the first thing i'm going to say and probably the most important thing is do not starve yourself Ugh. do not starve yourself eat the things that you still want to eat just like i said but eat them in a calorie um eat them in a in a control portion or whatever they call it for example people will tell you like you shouldn't say okay i'm not going to eat chocolate i'm not going to eat um i'm not going to drink um fanta or coke or whatever you can decide to cut all of those things off and go for better options fine but like you can still eat them but just don't eat them the way you normally eat them do you understand like just reduce the way you eat them and if you want to see faster results like reduce them very well maybe once a week is okay do you understand the thing that happens when you starve yourself is that when you wake up in the morning you don't eat anything till night time or afternoon time 
your body wants as much as much energy that it can get so you just start to eat everything and anything and then at the end of the day you can't track you can't really track the things that you've eaten and can't really track your weight loss or whatever so don't starve yourself i still eat my breakfast lunch and dinner i just eat them i just eat things that will nourish my body instead of you know do instead of um how do i put this i just eat things that are right for my body let me just put it that way okay so do not starve yourself okay don't say because i'm fat i need to fast for two days or i need to not eat at all your body needs food your body needs energy you need to you need to eat but just eat in a calorie deficit so if you're on your weight loss journey right now and you're starving yourself please don't starve yourself okay the second thing is do not compare yourself comparison is a thief of joy and you're not going to even think you're making any progress even when you're making progress and if you're comparing yourself you're not going to um feel like you're making any progress okay even when you are making progress you understand don't say i want to look like this person don't say i want to look like this person because they're on their own journey to allow them to look like themselves and strive to be the better you don't try to like compare another person's weight loss journey to your own we lose weight in different ways some people they probably just need to cut out a little bit of sugar for them to slim down just like this and for you it might take longer than that some people can lose weight in one month some people take them three months to see um good results some people takes them longer than that to see results different genetics different body type different whatever whatever so do not compare yourself to anybody it's very easy to compare yourself especially when you go to the gym if you're a gym goer and you see someone that you start or if you have a gym partner that you started the weight loss journey with and then all of a sudden they are losing so much weight and you're still there you feel like oh my god what am i not doing right please you're on the right path you're just you're just different okay you're just different your body is just different from theirs so don't compare yourself to anyone that was how i lost weight and these are what i did and these are things i did not do to lose weight so now i'm going to tell you guys what i how i started seeing results okay and i think it's still it's still under all of those things that i mentioned but it's just like I just want to tell you guys the experience you understand so when i started my weight loss journey i started going to the gym like three times a week i was in school then so i didn't really i didn't really used to track how i go to the gym and what i eat i was just doing whatever like i was just you know doing 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 just whatever and then i went on a summer break and then that was when i felt like I started seeing the results that I actually wanted to see. The mistakes that I was making in the gym then was I was lifting more than I could carry. So my form was bad. I was just jumping from one exercise to another. <laughs> it's so funny because I'll go to the gym today, I'll do a whole different set of exercises. The next day I'll come and do a whole different I was just scrambling all over the place. You're not going to see results like that. You need consistency, you need repetition. Your body needs to know that okay your body needs to be used to something if you come today and do this exercise come tomorrow and do another one another day you're doing another one your body your body is just like what's this girl doing do you understand so you need to do the same things repeat repeatedly do you understand so during summer i, I registered to the gym and god bless that gym because they had a lot of equipment so many equipment so i started with a plan for example, I was on a with a fat loss journey. I went, I was burning fat and trying to maintain muscle. Do you understand? Trying to like look toner than what I used to look like. So I wrote what the workouts I would do, my leg day, my back day. It was mostly leg day, back day, and then my core exercises. So I knew the workouts that I wanted to do. And I started with baby weights not really baby 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 i think i start with like 20. just go with the weights that you're comfortable with if you feel like the weight is heavier than you please don't lift it don't lift any weight that's heavier than you because your form is going to be bad and you're just going to be doing rubbish okay so you need to get your form right it's very easy you can go on tiktok just check wherever the exercise is get your form right okay 
and feel it where you're feeling it make sure you're feeling it like for example my leg days i make sure i feel it in my glutes my um my thighs if i'm doing quads exercises and i think that's it yeah so i started with baby weight and i got my form right and my diet was i give myself that like i can't i cut out a lot of things a lot of sugar a lot of everything because do you know that when you start eating when you start eating healthy you just be like what's the use of eating sugar a lot because when you're on the treadmill in 30 minutes i burn like 300 calories that's just one donut 300 calories in cost to one team hot in donuts please do you really do you really want to go through the stress of eating two of eating of even if of even eating the donuts is the donuts really worth it it's not worth it okay it's what it sometimes give yourself a break okay but sometimes it's just like is it really worth it so that i was just thinking about that if i'm going to having to walk in on the treadmill for like hours just to burn one donut just one donut too and i've eaten like five do you understand that's like it's not really worth it so i'm just going to cut all of these things off so i, I worked on the tread i used to work on the treadmill for 30 minutes i do incline 10 my speed 3.5 and 30 minutes after my workout do you understand so you need to plan everything out you need to also write your if possible it's it's okay to eat the same things do you understand just write what you want to eat out do you understand and just plan them out I ate a lot of protein, eggs, chicken, meat, beans. I ate that beans is actually not protein. I ate beans is fiber and something. But fiber is also still good for your body. Do you understand? So those things make you fuller for a longer time. And protein is a bodybuilding. Um, proteins are bodybuilders or whatever. Proteins are bodybuilders, so whenever you do your workouts, your muscles become sore. And when you eat protein, good amount of protein, they grow, and then you start to lose fat. And then if you're trying to um, grow your glutes or whatever, your glutes start to get bigger, and that's just it. Okay, and protein keep you full for a longer time. And that was how I lost weight. And I, the first thing I lost weight was my face. My face started becoming slimmer. I feel like once you just cut out sugar, your face becomes slimmer all of, all of a sudden. And you just become the best version of yourself. Now it's like, I'm just happy the way I am. I, I'm still on the journey. I still go to the gym every time, every now and then. And I still try to eat the right things. And yeah, that was how I lost weight. So basically, if you guys have any questions for me, leave it in the comment section and I would answer the questions. And if you guys, yeah, I don't know. I think that's everything I did. If you want me to give you guys like the list of food that I ate, you can also ask me in the comment section. And maybe in another video, I'm going to show you guys or tell you guys things that i normally eat to maintain and to lose body fats and all of that so this is your sign to lose weight this is your sign to go to the gym i'll see you guys in my next video please subscribe to my channel bye guys bye